What if your own immune system is preventing you from getting pregnant? If you've been trying to conceive with no clear explanation, have a history of autoimmune conditions, or keep experiencing early pregnancy losses, your immune system might be working against conception rather than supporting it. I'm Dr. Mark Sklar, the fertility expert. And for over 23 years, I've been helping women discover that autoimmune issues are often the hidden cause behind unexplained infertility and reoccurring pregnancy loss. Today, I'm revealing how autoimmune infertility works, why conventional testing often misses it, and most importantly, what you can do about it. I'll share practical steps you can take at home, plus how we address this comprehensively in my Hope Fertility Coaching Program. This isn't about managing symptoms. It's about identifying and addressing root causes that could be blocking your path to pregnancy. I also want to share a free training that I created for all of you. The link to my free masterclass is in the description below. It's the proven five-step system to transform your fertility and reignite hope to get pregnant. Let's uncover what might be happening in your immune system together. First, what is autoimmune infertility? Autoimmune infertility occurs when your immune system mistakenly attacks reproductive tissues, sperm, or developing embryos. Instead of protecting pregnancy, your immune system treats it as a threat. So some common signs of this include unexplained infertility despite normal basic testing, recurrent early pregnancy losses, a history of autoimmune conditions like Hashimoto's disease, celiac disease, or lupus, and elevated inflammatory markers, and some symptoms of like chronic fatigue, joint pain, or digestive issues. This often gets missed because standard fertility testing doesn't include comprehensive immune panels. Most doctors only test for a few antibodies, missing the broader immune picture. So strategy number one is to reduce systemic inflammation through diet. Chronic inflammation drives autoimmune responses and can interfere with implantation and early pregnancy development. Dietary changes give you ongoing and lifetime support that you actually have control over. So what you can do at home are some of the following. Number one, eliminate inflammatory foods like gluten, dairy, processed foods, and excess sugar. Number two, focus on anti-inflammatory foods like wild-caught fish, leafy greens, berries, and turmeric. And I think you should also consider an autoimmune protocol like an AIP elimination diet for about 30 days. Other things that you can include are omega-3 rich foods like sardines, walnuts, and flax seeds. And I like to take this a step further in my HOPE program. We run comprehensive food sensitivity panels to identify your specific inflammatory food triggers, not just common ones. And we create a personalized elimination protocol with detailed meal plans, supplement support, and systemic reintroduction phases. You get ongoing monitoring of inflammatory markers to track your progress and adjust protocols as your body heals over time. So instead of guessing which foods might be problematic, we test and know exactly what your immune system is reacting to and create a targeted approach that gets faster results for all of you. Strategy number two is to support gut health and intestinal barrier function. About 70% of your immune system is in your gut. Intestinal permeability or leaky gut allows undigested proteins to enter your bloodstream, triggering autoimmune responses. Some things that you can do at home to support this or prevent it is to take high quality probiotics with at least 50 billion CFUs daily. I also like to include fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, kefir, or kombucha and add gut healing nutrients like L-glutamine and zinc. Eat prebiotic foods to feed beneficial bacteria. And these things include garlic, onions, and asparagus. And I also want you to consider digestive enzymes with your meals if you have bloating or gas. In the HOPE coaching program, we test for specific gut pathogens, beneficial bacteria levels, and intestinal permeability markers. Based on newer results, we can create a targeted protocol using therapeutic-grade probiotics, antimicrobial herbs when needed, and specific gut healing compounds. We monitor your progress with follow-up testing to ensure your gut barrier is healing. We don't just assume you have gut issues. We test to see exactly what's happening in your microbiome and create precise interventions based on your unique gut health profile. This is how you make long-lasting progress and results. So strategy number three is to optimize vitamin D and immune 
modulating nutrients. Vitamin D acts as an immune modulator, helping to balance immune responses. Deficiency is strongly linked to autoimmune conditions and fertility issues. If you want to get ahead of this at home, you can start with testing your vitamin D levels if you haven't done it recently. You can also supplement with vitamin D if you need it and at the appropriate dose. Include immune supporting nutrients like vitamin C and selenium. And I also like to add omega-3 supplements daily for anti-inflammatory support. One of the things that you can easily do at home is get moderate sun exposure when possible every day for about 15 to 20 minutes in the peak sun times of the day. We can take this a step further in the HOPE program because we test comprehensive nutrient panels, including vitamin D, B vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that specifically impact immune function. Then we create personalized supplement protocols with precise dosing, timing, and forms based on your individual levels and genetic factors that affect absorption. We don't use a one-size-fits-all supplement recommendation list, and neither should you. Your protocol is based on your actual nutrient levels and genetic variants that affect how you process and utilize your nutrients. The fourth strategy is about managing stress and supporting adrenal function. Chronic stress elevates cortisol, which disrupts immune function and can worsen immune conditions. Stress also affects reproductive hormones directly, and I have talked about this at length in previous videos. So here is what you can do now at home. Number one is practice daily stress reduction, meditation, deep breathing, breathing, or gentle yoga are perfect. Number two, prioritize your sleep by aiming for seven to nine hours nightly with consistent sleep wake times. Number three, limit caffeine, especially if you have adrenal dysfunction symptoms. And four, include stress-reducing activities that you really enjoy, like walking in nature, reading, baths, whatever it might be. In the HOPE program, we test cortisol patterns throughout the day to see exactly how your stress response is functioning. Then we create personalized stress management programs protocols, including specific adaptogenic formulas and herbs, nervous system regulation techniques, and lifestyle modifications tailored to your stress patterns and life circumstances. Instead of generic stress management advice, we identify your specific stress response patterns and create targeted intervention to restore healthy cortisol rhythms and nervous system balance throughout the day. The fifth strategy is about addressing environmental triggers and toxin load. Environmental toxins can trigger autoimmune responses and disrupt your immune function. Heavy metals, mold, and chemical exposures can all contribute to autoimmune infertility. You can start by making these changes at home. Switch to non-toxic personal care products and household cleaners. Filter your water ideally with reverse osmosis or high-quality carbon filters. And also choose organic produce when possible, especially for the dirty dozen list. And then avoid plastic food containers, so switch to using glass or stainless steel instead. And then support natural detoxification with daily movement and sweating. So how we take this a step further in the HOPE program is that we test for environmental toxins, including heavy metals, mold, mycotoxins, and chemical exposures through specialized labs. And then based on your results, we create targeted detoxification protocols using specific binders, support nutrients, and lifestyle modifications. We also help you identify and eliminate toxin sources in your environment. We identify your specific toxin exposures rather than using general detox approaches. And this allows us to target the exact substances that may be triggering your autoimmune response. Everybody deserves personalized and unique attention, especially when we're dealing with toxins. When we start talking about testing, standard testing usually includes some basic thyroid hormones like TSH and maybe T4, ANA, anti-nuclear antibodies, and perhaps anti-phospholipid antibodies. Comprehensive HOPE testing that we include includes complete thyroid panels, including TPO antibodies and thyroglobulin antibodies. Comprehensive autoimmune panels that, yes, include ANA, but also rheumatoid factor and more. And then food sensitivity and inflammatory marker testing on top of that. And then we can't leave out gut health assessment 
management, including stool testing. That's essential. And because I did mention environmental toxins, we always do environmental toxin screening, nutrient status evaluation, and detailed hormone and stress response assessments. This matters because you can't address what you don't know exists. Comprehensive testing reveals the specific autoimmune triggers affecting your fertility. So where do you start? Well, number one, I always recommend that you begin with anti-inflammatory diet changes and stress reduction. And then two, add in gut supporting supplements and nutrients. The third thing that I like to recommend is testing for vitamin D levels and optimizing those. And then number four is addressing environmental toxins in your immediate environment. And then the fifth thing is to consider comprehensive of testing for deeper insights. Often I get asked, how quickly can you expect to see changes when you do all of this? Well, initial improvements in energy and digestion can take about two to four weeks. And then inflammatory marker improvements can take anywhere from six to 12 weeks. And then to really see immune system rebalancing, that can take anywhere from three to six months. The same thing goes for fertility improvements. That can also take three to six months of consistent implementation. Autoimmune conditions are complex and individual. Individualized. What works for one person may not work for another. So professional guidance ensures you're addressing your specific triggers in the right order. If you suspect autoimmune issues might be affecting your fertility, you're not alone and you're not out of options. The approach I've shared today can make a significant difference, but autoimmune infertility often requires comprehensive testing and personalized protocols to address your specific triggers and imbalances. I've created a free masterclass that dives deeper into the complete system I use to help women with complex fertility challenges, including autoimmune issues. The proven five-step system to transform your fertility and reignite your hope to get pregnant. In this masterclass, you're going to discover how to identify if immune issues might be affecting your fertility. The comprehensive testing that reveals root causes conventional doctors often miss. My five-step system for addressing complex fertility challenges naturally. Real success stories from women who overcame autoimmune infertility. How to determine if this approach is the right one for your situation. So register for this free masterclass using the description below. Remember, autoimmune infertility isn't a life sentence. With the right testing, targeted interventions, and comprehensive support, you can help your immune system work with your fertility goals instead of against them. Your body isn't broken. It just needs the right support to heal and conceive. Register for the masterclass and take the first step towards understanding and addressing your autoimmune fertility challenges. Until the next video, stay fertile and stay hopeful.